from the Hockey Performance Academy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get faster and more agile on the hockey field simply by doing an exercise to improve your lateral agility. So, lateral agility is one of the most important parts of hockey. It's the ability to move from side to side really quickly. So in hockey, this could be things like making a lead, deceiving a player, so taking them left to go right. It could even be making interceptions and any loose balls that you're leading towards. So what we're going to use today is a resistance band. So I'm going to recommend, generally I tend to use two bands attached to each other so that it allows me to go a little bit further with the bands. But you can also just use one band if you've got that. So what I'll do is I'll step into the band, okay, around my hips, and from here, what we're going to do is we're looking for the first two or three steps and it's a very explosive movement. Okay, so from here we want to be in a, a semi-squat or a quarter squat position, chest up nice and straight, activating the core, and we want to make sure that we're moving really quickly and then it's controlling that weight back as well. So it's not just about the acceleration out, it's also about controlling the deceleration movement as well. Because deceleration is half the part of speed and agility. Okay, so watch again, nice and low, you can go one or two steps depending on how far the band allows you to go and you're controlling that movement back. Okay, so the key thing here is that acceleration out is nice and quick, okay, nice and low and you're coming back, staying nice and low, feet facing forward. Okay, the right foot, potentially we can open that up slightly so that we can use more of the heel to push out, okay, but essentially we're pushing from this leg, okay, and we pulling from this leg over here. Okay, so that's an excellent exercise which is going to help you to improve your lateral acceleration um, on the hockey field and it will make a huge difference to those 50-50 balls, getting in front of your player and of course to be able to take a player one way and to be able to explode off to the other side to beat them. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any other questions, feel free to leave your comment below. I'll see you in the next video.